Oh, he's chasing. Wait. Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today, the Lions were just released on console, PC, and Xbox. Now, these lions are pretty elusive, so you can't just run out and find a lion right away. Last time I hunted lion on the beta, it took me over 45 minutes in real life to try and find my first lion. Anyways, let's go head out and try and find some lions. Now, when you're lion hunting, I would say there's probably four different areas you really want to cover. First is Central Savannah. I always like to start here around 9 o'clock and kind of hunt around the edge of this water. I don't go directly to it. I go... Well, basically straight and then kind of veer off to the left. So this area over here is really good. Also over here by Coo Novella Land, go from this lodge here and go right between these two lakes here. And sometimes you circle around here. This is a good spot as well. And next go up here to the Endlufu Gorge and go basically right around this water spot here. This is pretty good. And I also know there's another pretty good area up here by the Razala Banyai. All right, so I'd say there's a few different ways you can hunt these lions. One is by going through this thick brush like this and looking for tracks. Eventually you'll find a lion track, but I would not recommend walking through this stuff because a lot of times the lions can actually see you and you can't see them. So you should probably run through here and until you pick up a track and track it down or at least find a track. The next way would be to try and find an opening and basically walk right in that direction. As you're walking, make sure you look, listen and watch and keep an eye out way in front of you. I would not recommend running in areas like this because a lot of times, even us walking right there, we just kicked up this lion. And look at how fast that thing is going. That looked like it was a pretty good hit. And yep, vital hit. That means he should be down right over here. Actually, there he is down right there. This might be our first gold lion. Let's take a look and find out and see what he's gonna score he is a gold he scores 45 we made a double lung shot at 103 yards out now if you notice how we were leading this lion it looked like we were aiming really far in front but you want to aim like that every single time because they're almost always trotting so basically aim for the front part of the front shoulder and you're going to get a double lung almost every time. All right, guys, so we just got eyes on another lion. This one's coming right towards us. I wonder what it is. What is it? Ooh, it's a six hard. It's 63 out. Let's go for a shot. Actually, we'll zero in for 80. He is down. Oh, I thought he was about to charge us, but luckily we took the shot and he's down. I was kind of hoping he was going to come our direction, but if he would have, he would have came straight at us and then we would have had a really difficult shot with the bow. So we decided to take him out. All right, here he is here, our second lion of the hunt. And we took him down with a 338. Very nice. We actually spotted this lion about five minutes ago but we couldn't get a shot actually this one's in a really cool position I kind of want to take a picture of him let's crouch a little bit and zoom in yeah that's a very cool position for this line to be in okay well let's pick him up and see how we did and we got another gold look at that we actually hit this new update that was kind of a lucky shot I am not gonna lie there so his head kind of went down and I knew that was going to deflect us from hitting where we wanted to hit, but I didn't know we would get that lucky. Looks like we got skull and neck, and we got the cervical spinal cord, which is right in behind the skull, I believe. In between the skull and the neck there. So that's the same thing that's going to be um, in the back. It's going to be the uh, spinal cord as well, except for this is the cervical spinal cord. So very cool. We got another gold line out of that at 65 yards out. Actually, I just thought of another strategy. One more strategy you can do is run around, look, and watch. So you're still kind of hunting, but at the same time, you better watch really far ahead of you. If you watch way far ahead, you can actually kick up the lion and in a way you'll jump him up. So this is another strategy or a technique that you can use as well. Sometimes if I'm running around and I find a really heavy track heading a direction, I'll try and cut out in one of these open fields here and see if I can't 
jump up the big lion. Right there, there's. But that should have helped. Wow, interesting. Okay, good. We definitely got something solid. I just saw the percentage going down a little bit. So apparently there was a female lion or a lioness was in this thick brush here. And she jumped out, ran across this open field. We did take a shot. I think we actually might have hit the spinal cord. Well, not the cord. We hit the uh, vertebrae. So if you hit the vertebrae, you still don't. You do get a, a flesh hit, but it will take it down. And you can see the map is purple, so she should be down right up here. And I just heard another lion over in that direction there. A lot of times you'll hear a little growl, and when you hear that growl, make sure you mark the direction you heard it from because odds are it's going to be coming nearby. Okay, that's a non-vital hit, and that's where we hit that lion. Oh, 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 hold on. We just spotted. Well, we didn't spot it, but we just heard a male lion chasing over this direction here. Oh, right there, right there. Going across this wide open field. It's a seven very hard. I just saw it chasing something. I think it was actually chasing a kudu, if I'm not mistaken. But we did mark it, so we know pretty much right where it went. Now, that lion came from pretty much the exact same spot that this female lioness came from. Right over here. We never even saw him. So that's why you don't really want to be running. Because you can run right past these lions. You won't even know it. And the lion just go right back to the same spot that, that they were at. And you'll never see him. Alright, so we do have our lion marked. We shouldn't have to track this one too much further. Well, we don't really have to pick up the track. We're just going to kind of run track this one. And there she is right there. Let's take a look at her. It is a female, but I really want to see how we did. That was a, another lucky shot. Well, actually, no. We did get spinal cord and intestine, so it looks like we actually got two vital hits on that thing. It scored 36.6, and that was a 262.42 yard intestine, pelvic bone, spinal cord shot. Well, it looks like we found our lion right where we last marked where we saw him. There he is standing out there at 390 yards out. So we're going to try and get a little bit closer to him and see if he maybe beds down or starts feeding. And then we'll ID this need zone that we, we know where some more lions are going to be. That's a different lion. That's a female. But we did get a drinking zone out of that. Now we need to find the male. Where'd the male go? I would take a shot of this female, but the fact that the male is nearby... We're going to go for him. We got him. We got him. He's out here at about 100, 150. Looking right at us. The only shot we have available is a heart shot right now, which we could definitely go for, but I would like for him to turn broadside. To do that, we're going to put out a call, see if we can get him to turn. He doesn't want to move. He's being stubborn. Oh, now he's going to look straight away from us? That will work! And we got him. Nice. Kind of a tough shot through the brush, but we made it happen. Alright, you can see he was standing right here, and that's definitely a vital hit. Although we can't pick up the track right now. We'll pick up this track here. 50%. Looking pretty good. And there he is. Looks like we have number three down. Another male. Let's find out how we did. Another gold. Three for three in golds. That is a perfect double lung shot. As you can see, we were almost a little bit low when we were aiming, but we were zeroed in for 160. Oh, I thought we were about to get attacked. So what I was saying is we were aiming low, but that's because we reserved him for 160 and I knew he was a little bit closer than that. So we basically pierced the center of the lung absolutely perfect on this male. And he scores 849. The shot was 117 yards out and we got 1,423 cash for that. So it just so happens that we happen to have two dime potential Gemsbach right here. I think this is the first one we're going to go for. Wow, this thing's going to be right on top of us. Let's actually zero in for 80. Uh, we might even try and take a shot on this thing with a bow. I mean, if she keeps coming. She's not going to, though. Bad wind. 
That was about as lucky as you could possibly get on that shot. <laughs> we did get double lung, but that was a pretty much a miracle. All right, here she is. This is what could be a diamond. It's not, it's a gold. 310 score, we got a double lung liver shot, but look at how low and far back we were. All right, we just spotted one more lion out there at about, uh, let's find out how far he is. I would say he's about 200, but 167. And we also just spotted a rest zone for the lion as well. So that's pretty awesome as well. Yeah, he's about 160 exactly out there. Oh, he's chasing. Wait. We went for a shot. I don't know what we did, but it seemed pretty good. He was about to attack either a kudu or something. I don't know what was over there, but he was about to bolt after him and see what it was. And we had to take a shot quick, and we did. What do we... It looks like... Jackal, actually. Is, did they really chase Jackal? No. What else was over here? Oh, right there. Springbok. Either Springbok or Kudu. Okay. Jackal going off over there. And I hear another lion. Shouldn't be the one that we took a shot at. Nope, it's definitely not. Because he's piled up right here. Nice. We really couldn't even see him that good, but just good enough to take the shot. Let's pick him up. And another goal. Double lung shot at 163 yards out. Perfect shot at him. Centered the lung. Absolutely beautiful. So here's another way you can hunt the lion. Go down to a water hole. Sit there and wait. Eventually, they'll come in. Well, you're going to be waiting a little while most likely. But there's a good chance you're going to see lion eventually. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We just spotted a nice male lion at 330 yards out. Actually, now we're looking at about, yeah, 327, 300, I mean, 300 basically. He shouldn't really go anywhere. I'll show you where we're at right now. We are at the, well, basically the east lake here, right by the Kunavala land at 1429. And we just spotted this male lion out here at 300, I would say 330, close enough to 330. Now, I would love to take this shot, but to take this far of a shot, you really need to be almost prone. And as you can see, if we go prone, uh, it's not going to be that easy. All right, all right, this should definitely work out. Well, in fact, we could just take a shot as he's trotting. Hit a little bit high and a little bit far back, but we still smoked him. He's going down. And he's down. Yeah, you really need to get the lead down when they're running like that. Otherwise, you'll get a flesh hit or you'll completely miss. Either way, it's not a good situation. But we got him. I think we actually got a lung, double lung liver shot, which will work as well. And we should have 100% on this male lion. Let's find out. Yes, we do have 100%. That was actually a straight liver lung shot. I told you we hit a little bit far back. Still, liver and lung, and he scored 841 and another gold lion. And with that, that's actually going to be a pretty good way to end this video. So I hope you guys have fun with these lions, and I hope you guys figure out a way to hunt them, because like I said, they're pretty elusive. Anyways, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. So I thought we just ended the video, but we just got attacked right in that particular spot. As you can see from the trophy shot screen, it is still up. We did not even hit accept on this trophy and we got attacked by one of the lions. I don't know. I never even got to see it, but wow. These lions are something else. There he is. It's a mythical. And we dropped him. What a giant. Holy. Oh my god, that was incredible. Why couldn't it be a diamond though? Would have been absolutely insane if it was a diamond. He stepped out absolutely perfect. I thought he was a diamond. I'm shaking so bad right now. <laughs>